Good morning. It's Wednesday, September 27th, 2023. This is your Georgia WeatherNet morning update. Kind of a mess in South Georgia with plenty of shower activity, a few thunderstorms in there around Vidalia and Dodge County, and a coastal flood advisory that covers uh, Kingsland, St. Mary's, up to Brunswick and St. Simons Island with that heavy rain that's just been going on almost nonstop since yesterday. And you see the bulk of that rain right off the coastline, and we're going to keep most of that out to sea, but those showers continue to push in from the uh, main storm system there out in the Atlantic and pushing up toward the northwest. So bands of showers throughout the day today up through Eastman, the Dublin, Swainsboro, Statesboro as well. And of course, those showers will continue through coastal Georgia. Checking out the tropics, we have Tropical Storm Philippe continuing to weaken and should be a tropical depression by the end of the week, heading into the weekend, still bringing some rain, heading out toward uh, the island of Hispaniola and Puerto Rico, and may see the remnants head toward Florida and Georgia, but I don't think it's going to strengthen a whole lot, so not a big deal on Philippe. We have the Red X. That'll be our next name storm, more than likely, before this day is over or by tomorrow. will be Tropical Storm Rena, and that one is expected to curve off to the northeast as well before reaching us, but again, we're going to keep a close eye on both of these systems over the next several days. Here's a look at the modeling this morning. Those scattered showers continue through South Georgia. That heavy rain, just as we move through the day, as you can see, just right along the coastline, just hugging the coastline. So still looking at quite a bit of rain from Brunswick up to Savannah. We may see that coastal flood advisory extended north as we uh, move through the day today. And then the rain just kind of melts away later on this afternoon. Just looking at a few scattered showers, mainly in South Georgia. North Georgia will have a little high-pressure dome trying to creep in a little bit, so that's going to help cut some of the clouds down and also reduce our rain chance. Still a few showers are possible through the day today for the northern part of the state, but that rain chance pretty much disappears through the overnight hours. Heading into tomorrow... Not bad at all across the state of Georgia. Again, that high pressure trying to build up, so that's going to block a lot of the rain from moving into south Georgia. A few showers possible up in the north Georgia mountains as we move through the day uh, tomorrow and then in the early Friday morning. Otherwise, not bad at all. Even more sunshine across the state of Georgia through the day on Friday. Looks good for high school football Friday night. Shouldn't have any lightning delays and I think we keep the rain away, too, on Friday evening all across the state. Just a few clouds around mainly in south Georgia and partly cloudy skies in middle and north Georgia. That's your morning weather update from the Georgia Weather Net. Now your local forecast from northwest Georgia to southeast Georgia.